So you've got a 4K monitor, you hooked it all up. The 4K monitor is capable of 60 hertz, but you're only getting 30 hertz out of it. What do you do? Well, I've gone through the same thing myself. Um, new 4K monitor for work, connected it to uh, via HDMI to my onboard Intel um, powered motherboard um, using the Intel graphics drivers and it didn't allow me to choose anything higher than 30 hertz. So this is what I did. Number one, I basically um, checked out the Windows display properties, right click on the uh, background of your uh, desktop and go to display settings. And then once you've done that, basically scroll down and go to advanced display settings here on the bottom. And then you'll be able to see your refresh rate. Now, if you go to the display properties, you then get another window coming up and you can list all the modes. And if you click on that, then you can choose all of the different modes. That might just be that your uh, initial setting is set to 30 hertz and you need to manually change it to 60 hertz. So check that first, that's number one. Secondly, the thing I did was, it still wasn't working for me. Um, secondly, I went to upgrade the motherboard BIOS. So I was a year or so behind on my BIOS. So I upgraded that, came back, that hadn't changed anything either. Don't forget here I'm using the onboard graphics, uh, the Intel graphics UHD 630 here on an on a Asus Prime uh, motherboard. So next I went to install, uh, there's a program from Intel you can actually uh, download and it will actually check all your drivers for you and tell you what you've got on board on your PC. So I installed that and it told me I needed a graphics driver update, uh, which Windows update didn't tell me about. So I thought that was the problem. So I upgraded that. Um, basically that update also didn't fix the problem. Um, the next thing I read out, number four on the list here, is checking the HDMI cable uh, is actually a high speed and can handle HDMI version two and upwards. Now the HDMI cable I was using was the one in the box that came with the Samsung monitor. So I didn't bother trying to change that out, but I was really hoping that Samsung had actually put a uh, HDMI cable or the correct HDMI cable in the box. So I trusted them on that one. Uh, and then my final thing that I, uh, that I did after nothing worked then at all was actually checked my motherboard manual on the specs page and this is what I found that it actually does say that this motherboard, even though it's only two or three years old, would only output 4K at 30 hertz. So there you go. That proved to me that I could not um, upgrade or update the system to make it push out 4K at 60 hertz. So check that as well. Obviously, that was because I was using onboard uh, graphics on my motherboard if you're using a graphics card a separate graphics card then check your the manual or the specs on the website of the manufacturer just to see if your graphics card can push out 4k at 60 hertz as well so what can you do after all that and it still doesn't push out 30 hertz well the thing to do is obviously to go out and buy a new graphics card um, I did just that and I bought, ended up buying a gigabyte GeForce GT 1030 uh, with two gig of RAM on board uh, that had a DVI-D and an HDMI output. And before I bought it, I knew uh, by reviews and different specs that that would um, output 4K at 60 hertz and handle that no problem. And I've done a separate video on that if you want to see me unboxing it and installing it onto into uh, my PC and running that. So that worked very well. And that was an entry level uh, model, the GT 1030 in 2020. And it only cost around uh, 70 pounds sort of thing, 70 British pounds. So you may pay around that in dollars as well in the US. So good luck. And I hope you managed to get 4K at 60 Hertz out of your monitor.